Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everybody in between, we got another one for you guys today. Now, probably a lot of you are getting sick and tired of the Xbox fanboys. Yep, 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 I'll agree with you on that one. I'm kind of getting tired of it too, and I'm looking for more content. But, but this isn't just an Xbox fanboy. No, 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 no. This is a Redfall fanboy. And you know what? After watching this video, I thought to myself like, hey, screw it. Why not? Let's just do a video on this. You know, one more Redfall video for now. And we'll look for some other content. But anyway, besides all that mess, please make sure you got yourself a snack and a drink. And let's just dive right into the video. Yo, what's up? It's Teebs. So I decided to play Redfall. The only reason I decided to play Redfall was to see how bad the game actually was was and you know what i will give him bonus points you know you go look at reviews the game is really bad and stuff and you're like you know what i'm just gonna try out the game and make my own opinion you know what i'll give you bonus points for that so i hopped in that bad boy and after an hour of playing it i was like okay hold on let me actually focus and, and see what's bad about this game and then i played another six hours and i was like okay what's going on here i was genuinely trying to force myself to hate this game because of the reviews. And this is where I deduct those bonus points I was gonna give him. Why in Sam hell would you force yourself to hate this game just because people were giving it bad reviews and mind you, justly those bad reviews were deserved. But now you're just sitting here playing a game that you may end up liking and just torturing yourself. It just doesn't make sense. However, fortunately, I'm someone who forms my own opinions and my own opinion is that the game is absolutely fun there's people saying that the game is broken and it's not complete how is that possible i'm sorry let me repeat this again just to make sure i fully understand your positioning in this situation you just said that you like this game and that you come up with your own opinion even though you just said maybe two to three minutes ago you just said the reason why you downloaded this game is because you wanted to hate on it because of the reviews. Okay, mister, I make my own opinion. That is a fucking laugh and a half. Also, if you were paying attention to your own gameplay in this situation, you see that rook that was going after you when you petrified it and then it actually unpetrified and it started running at you like that? That's broken AI right there. It was stuck right there. That's broken AI! And the game itself does not feel completed at all for an open world game. Like if you even spend like, I don't know, a solid hour running around the whole open world, you'll see what exactly what I'm talking about when the world feels dead. And I will absolutely admit that the game's performance is not the best. However, I get a great frame rate, but every like 10 minutes or so, the game bogs down super hardcore and lags real hard. But hey, it is what it is, I play on PC. I've had zero graphic bugs. I haven't fell through the map. I haven't died randomly. I haven't had any physics issues. Everything works as it is intended. Well, at least you're being honest about the frame rates and the other things, but there is one thing you're not being honest about, is the blatant bugs that are happening in front of you. If you see that vampire that's right in front of you where you just got done engaging, watch its movements. Watch how it reacts right off the screen. And seriously, dude, do you even watch back your gameplay sometimes? Because if you actually look at the rook part, you'll actually see right above him, there's textures that have not loaded in yet. Keep him coming, dude. I love dismantling your whole argument. It's really fun. I think there was a lot of creative decisions that were made that people just don't like. Everyone's saying the game is dead. There's no one around. Yeah, bro. The world got attacked by vampires. No duh. And we're talking vampires. Not freaking zombies where there's people everywhere. It's vampires, bro. They ain't just chilling in the streets, man. They're off somewhere weird in a basement sucking someone's blood out, man. Pick up a quest, go do the quest, and you find enemies. Um, there's a bit of correction that needs to happen with that. The world in Redfall, like the whole world, has not been sieged under vampires. Here's the description of Redfall. The town of Redfall is under siege by a legion of vampires who have cut the island off from the outside world. So one or two options are in this situation. 
A, you paid zero attention to the lore, or B, you're sweeping this under the rug, just trying to make Redfall look good and make the people that reviewed this game look bad. And people saying that the world is dead, especially just a small island like that, where vampires should be crawling everywhere, hunting humans in front of you. Yeah, none of that's in the world. Actually, as a matter of fact, let me play a hold speed up clip for you guys so you could just see exactly what I'm talking about, how dead this world is. And mind you too, the only two things that I encountered in this situation, in this whole clip, was the cultists and some snipers at a safe house. And before anybody says something, Gara, vampires are allergic to the sun. You know, they get disintegrated. Well, here's the thing, though. If you watch the beginning of Redfall, they blacked out the sun so vampires could go out and hunt humans. So my, my problem still is the pure fact that this open world game does not have like little events going on where we see vampires hunting humans or humans are fighting against back the vampires and of course they're going to lose. There's just absolutely nothing happening in this world unless you go pick up a mission and that's that's really it. It's just busy work. That's all it is. It's not that hard. The ambience in the game is absolutely disturbing for me. It's so good. I played Dead Island 2. However, Redfall has given me ridiculous goosebumps whenever I'm doing missions and stuff. The game is super fun, man. No one that could change my opinion on that. Because every day I get home from work, I want to play Redfall. I'm going to respect the man what he uh, what he likes and what he doesn't like. I'm, I'm going to respect that. But, um... 911. Officer! Right there! I'm sorry, the soundtrack within Redfall sucks. And I don't mean that as like an insult, but it's just my humble opinion. You know, I had to go to YouTube, pull up the original soundtrack just to hear the soundtrack at all. Like, I actually had to leave the game because the audio within Redfall refused to work. There's a lot of bad takes on this game. I've watched a lot of reviews, and it's people playing the game for 30 minutes and just saying is bad bro it takes like probably five hours to unlock a lot of the features in the game i went through a nest and it was the craziest thing ever some crazy supernatural things i was in like this movie theater right and there was like a movie playing turned into an actual location that you could hop through the screen it was crazy man if it takes you five hours to unlock everything within the game, that's bad game design. Sorry, not fucking sorry. And where's your proof at, dude? Where's the proof at with these bad reviews that they only reviewed in 30 minutes and gave the game a bad review? 
Where, where's the game reviews? Show me them. But the one thing I will agree with you on is the vampire nest. They needed to put that creativity they had that with those. They needed to put it around the whole map, not just these little designated areas. No, all that creativity needed to be spread around the whole island. And the only person that has a terrible, terrible take on this whole situation and with this freaking video game, and I, I should really call it a live service at this point, is you. Your opinion on this game is absolute shit. You, 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 you tried to dismantle a lot of the big problems that this game has and you say, oh, well, look, it's not here at all. When I've gone throughout the whole video and found multiple instances of where this game is absolutely crapping itself. I'm still trying to understand how the game is broken and unfinished when the game has the same thing as other looter shooters and it has even more. It has character customization that you earn through playing the game, which has been requested for many years now. It also has weapon customization, a very small amount, but it does have that. Unfortunately, everyone is comparing this game to another game. I've heard Destiny a few times. Oh, really? Destiny? Oh, the game that launched really horrible, took a couple years to actually get good. Oh, that's the game that you're talking about and Redfall just launched. So it's like, oh, wait, you know, you want Redfall to be five year destiny. <laughs> when Destiny first launched, there was very, very few bugs within it. And the only problem, like the major problems that Destiny had was its storytelling and not enough content within the game to keep everybody entertained. Though if I do remember correctly though, when they did release the raid, there was bugs in it, but it took them about a week to patch it all up right before I got my Vex Mytho class. <laughs> but Redfall, what do you get with Redfall? You get crashes, performance issues, bugs, ammo glitches and you name it it's within redfall so yeah why not why not give the game another five plus years to finally get its act together like destiny did sure why not we'll just add it to the shit pile that eventually we'll forget on launch okay yeah i i understand what you mean it's just ridiculous unfortunately and i'll give my complete honest opinion at the end of this video right here the hate train for this game started when they announced that the game would release in quality mode at 30 FPS. And the hate train just continued. I honestly see people playing the game, doing a review, saying how buggy it is, but they're just playing the game and they're not experiencing any bugs or anything. So how do you know for a fact that they're not experiencing any bugs? Like you experience these bugs within the game? Like I, I actually pointed out how the game is functioning and how bugged out with the character models it is like you seriously do not see them like i swear to god someone could show you the bugs directly and you say oh this game's fine this game's fine there's nothing wrong with it i swear to god you're either delusional or you're dishonest maybe both to be frankly honest it's crazy Unfortunately, the popular thing is to just do whatever gets the most views. And that is what is honestly happening right now. But it is what it is. Everyone is demanding perfection at launch. Let me remind everybody, the reason why we got that price hike on the AAA Xbox exclusive games was for quality control. Now, please tell me, is Redfall worth the $70? Because if you're going to increase it to $70, I expect fucking perfection. Microsoft and uh, whatever your rando name is if you're gonna squeeze me for more fucking money I expect more effort to be put into the game not some half-assed half-produced game from 2016 that barely freaking runs at all and trust me this game the way it's shipped right now it's probably gonna take another five years to be even considered perfect my god the shit sandwich this is and you know what I just noticed something during the clip right there another bug you notice how the vampire jumps and completely misses him, but the hit from the vampire still registers in the game. So please keep telling yourself that this game is okay when it's really not and it's screwing you over at every single chance that you get to play this game. And you're getting a very 
playable game that is 97% complete and it's just not good enough. And I figure if we keep this up, we will never actually get a good launch because everyone just thinks it's bad. I'm starting to even say this in the same sentence, but this dude right here is either dumb or he's dishonest and he's trying to build a fan base just like the old Destiny YouTubers used to do. And I'm sorry to say this too, but these type of people need to be gatekeeped from the gaming community. These are the people that will just eat trash and say, thank you very much, here's my $70. It's, it's honestly dishonesting to even allow these people to be in the gaming community. And thankfully, thankfully that's the end of the video. Thank you, God. And just to let you guys know, this upcoming Friday, I will be streaming the new Zelda game, aka Tears of the Kingdom, Friday night. And a lot of you are asking, like, why are you doing a Friday night? Well, because if I do it Thursday night, Nintendo's going to get up in their feelings and strike my channel. And I don't want to deal with that bullshit right now. But anyway, thank you guys very much for watching the video. I really do appreciate it. And if you guys appreciate the content, please leave a like and come in the comment section. I always like talking to you guys. And hey, if you want more of this content too, subscribe to the channel. It lets me know like, hey, Gara, we like this type of content. Please give us some more. But other than that, fam, I'll see you guys in the next video. Later, fam.